uh, spine, going to the left. Not so bad that way, on this side's not so bad. This side worse, on this side. This side, this side, not good, that side. Uh, an angel came to you. An angel came, uh, an angel came and attached to you. An angel came and attached to you. <sighs> An angel came and attached to you. Uh, something happened to you here. Uh, what happened? Uh, you were uh, some accident? Uh, something happened. Something happened in this area. I have arthritis. Uh, yes, and they came to you. And uh, you were in a lot of pain. Uh, something happened in this area. Yes, my spine. Your, what is it, scoliosis? Uh, something is happening in this a, area. I had a cyst in my L3 yes. three years ago when I went to the doctor to see if they're going to do an MRI to see if it's back and my leg is numb. Yes, this side. And I have knee replacement. Yes, both and here. Good. And what's going on in the uterus? I'm getting checked for cervical cancer. Cancer! My pap smear is normal, but they still did a biopsy, so I'm waiting for the results on that. Okay, I'm getting a negative blink on your uterus. Okay. Thank you. It's okay, honey. They want me to lay hands on your uterus. Okay, thank you. Thank right you. away. Okay. Here, knees, no good. And lower back, an angel came to you. When you're telling me, now, here something also. I had a biopsy, but it was benign. You but had it. But my thyroid on my left side is totally distorted, and she told me destroyed. Absolutely. I wondered why I wasn't on thyroid medication, but my thyroid blood test came out normal. That's one. Mm mm. So they don't know. This one, yes. This is the one you had the biopsy? Both. This one but this is the one. But this one was benign. So right, but this is the one they want it fixed now. This one. So feel this one right now, how it feels. Lumpy? Like that? Nodules. Yes, they're nodules. They want them gone right now. Gone. They want them gone. Please. Let's do it. Can we all give me a lot of energy? And raise our hands. I accept the Holy Spirit through my body. I accept the Holy Spirit through my body. I accept the Holy Spirit through my body. In accepting the Spirit, I shall be healed. In accepting the Spirit, I shall be healed. Breathe it out. Good. Ha! Out of the room and out of the universe now. Out of the room and out of the universe now. Keep breathing it out. Keep breathing it out. Keep breathing it out. I'm in the fifth dimension. I'm in the fifth dimension. I'm in the fifth dimension. In the fifth dimension. Out of my body. And I am healed. And I am healed. I want to thank Meredith for letting me be here tonight. I'm very happy. And I want to thank my friend Luce for bringing me out tonight. And I'm very blessed to be able to go up on stage and to be healed by this beautiful lady that's very special. And the moment I saw her, I knew she was special. And I've been through going through a challenge last month and this month with my health. Many doctors, many biopsies, and she hit it right on the nose when she knew, when she touched me. And, and I'm amazed when I got off the table, my leg wasn't numb, because my leg's been numb every time I get off, it, if I'm laying down or if I'm sitting down. And the numbness has gone away, and I did feel my neck, and felt some nodules in my thyroid and now I don't feel them. So I'm very blessed to be here and I want to thank her again. Thank you so much. And I do want to see her for a private reading for probably an emotional thing because I know I need to have a blockage with breathing and just releasing my inner self. And I really look forward to meeting again, but I thank you with the bottom of my heart for helping me tonight. Thank you. My experience was amazing. I had heard about Kimberly for a while. We'd even talked on the phone a few times. I'm healing cancer. And I came tonight because spirit guided me. And when I sat down, she called on me for healing, and I got an amazing experience. 
I had some swelling in my throat area from the cancer and it reduced quite a bit and I think it'll reduce even more. She's a dynamo, little tiny woman with a very big energy and she feels very connected to spirit. I'm very grateful for the experience. I would be extremely remiss if I didn't share that I went to a um, friend of mine who has had amazing things happen through her. She's gifted, Kimberly Meredith. And she actually said the day before the surgery that if I still had cancer, she's crazy. So I guess people can believe whatever they want to believe. Uh, I don't want to be, you know, a crazy guy, of course. But the facts are that I thought I had cancer still. And there's no detectable cancer now. And Kim says it was removed. She removed it through a gift from God. And <laughs> there was no cancer when the doctors went in. Eight hour surgery, biopsied a lot of me. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. Her dog, Chloe, was diagnosed with squamous cell cancer on her tongue. And typically that prognosis is not good. It's inoperable. And the vet gave us three options. He said we could, number one, do nothing and she would die soon and painfully. Uh, number two, he could do five sessions of radiation, what he called palliative radiation or comfort care, the same kind of care that's done with hospice patients just to alleviate the pain. He said that she might live two months, maybe six months. And then option number three was 20 sessions of radiation. Um, typically, if the cancer were anywhere else besides on the tongue, she would have had a, maybe up to 18 months prolonged of her life. But um, statistically, for that location, he was saying maybe nine more months. None of it sounded very good. <laughs> And with Chloe, um, she's 12 years old, she's blind, she has seizure disorder, she, she has a pacemaker even. So our family just did not have a good feeling about 20 sessions. We truly believed it would be way too hard on her. We were even doubting five sessions, whether she could sustain those or not. So I called Kimberly and I said, I know you heal humans, but what about pets? Well, she said, of course I do. So we booked a session with Kimberly. And as soon as we got there, the first thing that Kimberly did was she asked Spirit, does Chloe want to live? Does she still want to be here? And the answer came back, yes. So Kimberly went ahead and proceeded with the healing session. And after it was over, she said, I think five sessions could be okay for Chloe. Not the 20, she agreed with us on that. But Five sessions should be okay. So we went ahead and we did the five sessions of radiation. And Chloe did have some pretty bad side effects afterwards, but she got through them. And we went, <clears throat> we brought Chloe back to Kimberly for another healing session. And as soon as we got there, Kimberly said, the cancer's gone. Not just better, gone. Well, great. <laughs> we went to the vet and he was genuinely surprised that instead of 20 sessions, as he recommended, that there's no sign of cancer after only five sessions. And as an added bonus, she's had no more seizures. So if Chloe could speak, she'd be saying, thank you, Kimberly. In fact, all of us, our whole family, thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. I'm Sharon, and I got to experience the healing um, hands of Kimberly tonight it was really it was interesting first I was like unsure but then she went right to where I have problems and she just kind of knew and she was able to move the energy out of me it was pretty incredible tonight was my first night coming to Kimberly Meredith she was recommended to me by a very good friend of mine I have been hyper salivating for the past year and a half gone to many doctors no one's been able to really figure out why this is happening um, but the second that I got on the table, she was able to detect a couple of areas in my body where I had some type of dark energy attached. One was on my neck and the other one was on my head. And um, immediately when she started doing the scan, I guess I got very emotional and I started crying. Like, I think just like there was a lot of energy moving around in my body and I, and I had an emotional outburst. And um, 
but she definitely knew without really knowing much about why I was on the table, she figured it out right away. And she was able to move that energy out of my body with the, with the help of the Holy Spirit. She was able to be used as a conduit of the light of the Holy Spirit and, and get it out. And I felt a lot better afterwards. It's definitely an experience I think everyone should have if they're feeling like they have an ailment with their body, like a, a physical ailment, or if they're having um, emotional problems or they feel like something's attached to their chakra, like she's definitely very gifted. She's the real deal, definitely the real deal. And I'm excited to come back in a couple weeks um, to see my progress and hopefully this hypersalivation issue will start going away. Kimberly's class was amazing. Um, I can't put it into words. It was just, um, I've tried um, many different healings um, from different healers and um, I'm blown away from what I felt from um, what she did with me and um, it was beautiful. I was going to say thank you. It was a really lovely evening. I, I just felt really uplifting and joyful and it was wonderful to be part of it. Thank you. I felt like we were at a place where miracles happen. So I just want to say thank you so much, Kimberly, for sharing your wonderful, amazing, miraculous healing gifts with us. From my heart, I'm so grateful. I love you. It's by thy grace that I see. It's by thy grace.